Backing up your files is very important, just like backing up your hard drive is very important at the same time. Many of you probably have experienced this. If you haven't, be careful because you might experience this. If you don't back up your files and you don't back up your websites, something can happen to them. It's happened to me and I'm sure it's happened to many of you. Let's say for example that your hard drive fails. If you didn't back them up, then all of that data and all of that precious time that you spent creating that data is all going to be lost if in case that the hard drive dies. If you're on a web hosting server, same idea, same concept. If your server, web host, and company does not have a backup feature in your plan, you might want to pay close attention to this. Backing up your websites is very important because if you lose all that data and all your site goes down and you can't get that back up, then your business is pretty much screwed. So in this video series, I want to emphasize that backing up your files is very important. So if I go to cPanel here, you'll notice that you have a backups area and a backup wizard. The only difference between the two is the backup wizard is something that will help walk you through the backup process very easily. Using backups is just as easy in my opinion. Now, here's one thing I want to mention though. If you are using a shared web hosting, that means that you're sharing a server with many web hosts. And you know that most of the time when you're paying anywhere from a dollar to twenty dollars a month. Now, if you're having a dedicated server and you're paying about $120 to $200 per month for a dedicated server, then most likely if it's fully managed or if it's not fully managed, you can set it so that it backs up your files, you know, daily or weekly and all that. Now, for the majority of you, I know that y'all are using reseller accounts, shared accounts. And being that you're sharing a server with hundreds or 200 or 300 other people and other websites, you got to watch out. Here's what I learned. I used to be on a shared account or reseller account. And I had these huge sites. Um, they would be about 500 to 1 gigabyte files. And as the whole site goes. Because I included lots of videos lots of software and things like that and because of that whenever I use the backup feature I my account would always get suspended and I'd have to plead with the shared web hosting company to unsuspend it and I would never back up the file the reason why is that backing up files takes a lot of the server resources what that means is if you have a website and you can see it here disk based usage I'm only using about 15 gigabytes but if you're using anywhere from 400, 500 to 1 gigabyte, and you can see the disk usage here, be careful. Email the web hosting company first to see if they can back it up for you. Because the majority of the time, if you do it yourself, you're going to lock up the whole server. And you don't want to do that. If you do that, they're going to suspend your account. What that means is your website is going to go down, not just down during the time of the server being down, but they're going to disable your website. So that's one thing I want to mention here before you actually back up your files. But if you're lower than 300 megabytes or 400, you should be okay. If you're worried about it, you should email the web hosting company. That's why a majority of web hosting companies actually disable this feature. Now with that said, let's go ahead and do the backups. Now, of course, to keep it simple, what I've done is I've gone to another website of mine that does not have, you know, 15 gigabytes worth of files. Because if you do that, that's actually going to take me about four to three to four hours to back up the files. So what I've done here is I've chosen a site that only has 251 megabytes. Most of you will never use even that much. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go to the backup wizard. And what this will do is it'll back up 
my home directory, my MySQL databases, and my emails and all that. So all I have to do is click on backup. And you can either do a home directory backup, MySQL database, or email forwards. I personally prefer full backup. And once that's done, I can just enter my email address. And you have the backup destination, which is in the home directory. Click on generate backup, and that's pretty much it. Once it's done, it'll actually email you, and it'll actually, the link will actually appear. So as you can see, it's already backing up in progress, and you can just come back to this 15 minutes later. Okay, so what I did was I paused it for about two minutes and I refresh the page and as you can see the backups are available for download if I click this link I can go ahead and download it and as you can see it's 244 megabyte file and what you want to do is you want to download it to your own computer just so that you have a backup on your computer and you got a backup on your server now let's say for example that something does happen and you want to restore your backup. If you click on your restore here and you click on, let's say you want to restore the home directory and you can browse for the file that's on your computer, click on upload and restore it. So the backup wizard really makes things much easier.